Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Okay guys, let's get into this. The first thing you're gonna do is have your patient move close to you as possible. So as, as close to the edge of the bed, the better. In some instances, you will not be able to have this done, but this is when you go portable or um, you're having to, if like the patient is in, you know, not mobile. The next thing is that having the patient close to you prevents you having to press hard, firm, or what have you on the patient. You're able to move the transducer easily in your hand and you're not having a lot of shoulder movement with this um, position. The next thing is when you have your patient go in the lateral decubed, have them still slide their hips and butt back towards you and actually hug the patient as I was previous to this image here, instead of scanning away from your patient where your shoulder is working more, now see my position here. I'm able to get in the midline, also scan the right side, and I'm resting my arm on the patient. I'm not moving or stressing my arm out. Even on right lateral decubed, scoot the patient as close as possible, and also still rest your arm on their hips. It's totally okay. I'm typically, since I know the young lady on the table, I did not have a towel on her. So you'll have a towel between you and the patient. Um, don't never, like, don't ever reach. Don't ever press hard. Don't ever do, you know, now I'm just, it's not a healthy thing for your arm to have a lot of rotation in it and you're in a lot of stress, you're a lot of pushing and what have you. So on EVs, this is what we're discussing now. On an EV patient, um, hug your arm around the patient's leg. Don't I don't use um, stirrups at all. And this is due because when you're using a stirrup, your arm is just hanging and you're moving the transducer and you're causing a lot of tension on your rotator cuff and also your, um, your hand as well, like carpal tunnel. So the next thing is, I actually have the patient in, in on the bed and you could have them use a lift up behind their their butt area um, and push the patient up that way if you're doing an EV. I always hug the arm around the patient's leg and get as close with my arm so I'm not, you know, using a lot of stress with it. and. Helping patients up off the bed. Don't ever pull them. Let them use their own weight. This is the technique I use if I have to help somebody lift their legs. I grab their pants, not their legs, and I lift with their with my I lift their pants. And as they're rotating on the bed, that's how the same movement I just did in this video is exactly how you're gonna do it um, with a patient that's like um, not able to swing their legs on the bed easily. Um, don't ever lift the patient up. Don't ever um, let the patient use their own, you know, stomach muscles or what have you to lift. And you're just there to support. Don't pull. Don't lift. Don't stress your arm. Don't, you know, cause any injury to you um, or uh, your body. It's, it, it's not a good thing. And in the 20 years that I have been scanning, believe me, I have not had any injury no soreness, no tenderness, no what have you. I don't apply pressure to patients. I'm not about to have a four, three, four hundred, six hundred pound patient and I'm pushing and probing and I'm not going to get better views than what I'm already getting with minimal pushing. So I'm not going to overstress my, my arm. I'm just not. Um, they don't pay me enough. Anyways, this technique here is when you go portable, if you if raise the bed as high as possible, have your hips up against the bed as comfortable. Don't rip, don't um, have the transducer twisted around your arm. You want to put the transducer probe um, cord up against the bed and use your hips to hold it, so you're not stressing your arm out. There's no extra weight on your arm. And when you go portable, raise the bed up as high as possible. Put the towel over, put a sheet over the patient so you're able to rest on that patient um, and make sure there's no IV cords or what have you in that area. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye.